Hi, welcome back to educator.com. This is going to be a lesson on WordPress plugins. Uh, I'm just going to give a quick overview of some of the different types of plugins and how to install them and how to use them, just to give you an idea of some of the range of what's available um, in WordPress. Um, so, first thing you'll want to do is go to your WordPress blog and log in. This is the dashboard, and the plugins are all in this area right here labeled plugins. So if you click on plugins, it gives you a little list of which plugins you already have installed. Um, you can activate ones that are installed but not uh, running or delete them. And then you can uh, deactivate ones that you already have installed and running um, and then delete them after you deactivate them. Um, so first, um, let's look at uh, plugins that would give you information about statistics for your, um, for your blog. Um, so the way to add a plugin would be to click on this add new link here and then you have this little search term and you can uh, do searches um, you don't have to know what a plugin is ahead of time say you just wanted to get uh, a plugin that helped you get statistics about your site you can just uh, type it in and do a search and you'll see a lot of results that kind of give you uh, you can look through these and choose the one you want um, I'm going to show you for statistics Google Analytics. Um, it's kind of the standard for statistics. It gives you a lot of information about um, how people are using your blog, um, what they're looking at, where they're coming from, um, how long they stay. It gives you just a lot of information. So this is the, uh, this is the install directory on WordPress.org for the Google at Analytics plugin. Um, and it's really well done. So you can, I'm actually just going to let you go here. The link is going to be below and you can view the video they have and look at the screenshots but you can see that there's quite a lot going on here um, they give you a really good introduction and this is probably going to be the one that you're going to want to install if you're interested in uh, statistics or just tracking your users and, and how they uh, use your website um, but then yeah say you just go to the plugins and do a search um, there's a lot of other statistics if Google Analytics doesn't meet your needs so for example clicky statistics um, is one that I've used in the past you can look at their uh, screenshots to kind of get a quick idea of what it looks like um, scroll down and it gives you kind of like some screenshots of what uh, what type types of statistics so it gives you a site rank um, traffic sources so 43 percent is saying are coming from direct or bookmarked so meaning users typed it in or they had it bookmarked as opposed to 29 percent coming from links so this is all useful information top referrals so they're getting most of their input from uh, Twitter and you know uh, some from mail.google.com which indicates that you have people uh, sending the links through email things like that so you can use this information um, gives you an idea of what clicky does um, and so again the way that you would do this is in your uh, in your WordPress admin area you can just click on the add new area do a search and then when you find it here I would click on install now um, for if I was going to install clicky statistics and it asks you for some uh, information here now this is going to be the host name um, which is actually going to just be your domain name and then your FTP username and password not the same as your WordPress username and password um, remember uh, to use your FTP username and password and then you'll proceed um, I'm not going to do that right now because we're on a somewhat slow connection